Good Thursday morning to you. As we begin this Thursday, I'd love to be able to share with you some Old Testament scriptures <clears throat> that talk about the silence of God. Keep silent before the Lord is a phrase that appears in the Bible in, you may call it Habakkuk or Habakkuk 2.20 and Zechariah 2.13. Habakkuk 2.20 and Zechariah 2.13. Listen to this. Habakkuk 2.20. But the Lord is in his holy temple, that all the earth keeps silence before him. Then in Zechariah 2.13, be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Be still before the Lord, but the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Silence is something used to be called silence is golden in the old days. But where there is silence, there is the Lord. It is in the silence and the magnitude, the tranquility of peace. When nothing distracts you with your eyesight, nothing distracts you with your hearing, nothing distracts you when you're speaking. Seeing, hearing, speaking, touching, tasting, nothing. Being silent, keep silent before the Lord, is a phrase that appears that's so important. May we learn to be silent. May we learn to be very quiet before the Lord this day and learn what He has to us, as He has for us in the silence. For we ask this in Your name. Amen. Will you pray with me? Father, we thank you for the glory of your love, for the magnitude of your power, and for the wonderment of your silence. Watch over us in this day that we may learn from the prophet of Habakkuk and also of Zechariah that being silent before you is golden. May we learn that today. May we find moments that we can be still and know that you're God. Amen. See you tomorrow on Friday.